Okay, hi Jean. So here's how we do the rest of the um, functionality here. So you're in uh, the room or the course session. If it says you need a secure link, make sure you have a secure link, then join the course room. Remember that within the Blackboard Collaborate Ultra, the control for the session is here, which includes start recording, using your phone, recording issue, and you leave the session by going down here. So that controls the session. But controlling the uh, panel, the Collaborate abilities, is down here. And we have uh, chat, we have the attendees, and remember, as I say, if you have your all of your students will also be listed here in addition to you, and notice that if you, any of them raise their hand, uh, that will appear on your attendees list. Uh, notice I hadn't turned on my microphone, so now I'm turning on the microphone, I'm turning on the video, etc. And if I raise my hand, there it is. All right. But the functionality we were talking about is share content. And what you want to be able to do is go to share application screen, hit the drop down, go to entire screen, allow that. Notice it's a window within a window within a window because it's saying, okay, use everything that is available on my desktop. Now, if beforehand you have opened, let's say, a folder that you're going to want to go to on your computer, go there on your computer as if you are already, you know, as you're, if you're by yourself. By saying sharing your screen, you are letting the students tag along. So you go to courses, and let's say, for example, oh, I don't know, let's go into my literature and film course. And I'll go to documents because I keep a folder for each unit. And currently we're doing the one on the Pygmalion myth. And I talk about the original myth. I talk about Shaw's Pygmalion. And I even talk to them about adapting from Pygmalion to My Fair Lady. So let's say I wanted to show how they did that. I could go into My Fair Lady. I could click on a video and if I play Andrews, that video and I remember this day if I play that video since my students are eavesdropping or set up to I'll be allowed to eavesdrop on my computer activities they are seeing what I am seeing on my screen. Including the annoying yes. ads. In preparation for the role of Eliza Doolittle in My Fair Lady, I, an English girl, had to study with Alfred Dixon, a New Yorker, to learn a Cockney accent. I-E-I-L-U. All right. Yes. All right. So... That means that whatever video or whatever I choose to show them that I can get on my computer, they are now watching because they are in this function. This will continue until I press stop sharing, at which point it sends them back to the camera. And remember that if you want to store this class such as people who couldn't make the online class can view it at their leisure. You just go into this left column here for session management. You choose start recording. And notice that right now it says session is being recorded. Um, so I'm actually making a recording of a recording right now. Uh, and if I go to share application, again, select the drop down, 
entire screen allow and then anywhere that I go within pace or anywhere else for that matter uh, they can go there too because they're using my credentials so this time for example if I choose to go to my 120 class uh, there I keep all of my uh, videos that I'm sharing in class in one place so I can go to documents uh, videos and if I want to show them this video which is a terrific video on three ways to speak English and about articulation being as Here we go. Articulation being a matter of making sure that your audience understands what you're talking about because you're speaking in their patois. It's a really wonderful, wonderful uh, video. I highly recommend it. <coughs> observed the show when my soul dwells and announced that I'm articulate. Okay. Anyhow, and a reminder that in order to discontinue, all you have to do is press the stop sharing button. And then it's back to the camera and back to uh, being with you again. Okay. And uh, let's see. You can always turn that off. And just remember that if you don't want to record it, you stop recording. And that's pretty much it. So, bye.